creating web page sections using a cascading style sheet. A CSS file can be used to create sections within the HTML web page. Developers need to define the sections using a hashtag symbol followed by their name of their choosing. Once the section's name has been defined, you need to then open the curvy bracket and then on the next line, begin defining the attributes of the specific section. So the color of fonts, background colors, what fonts are being used, all that stuff. Once completed then, you need to close that curvy bracket on the final line. So let's look at an example now in our CSS file if we're going to set up a navigation section. What I need to do first is do the hashtag navigation and that's a name of my choosing. I could really call it anything I want, but it's actually something meaningful for what I want it to be. Then I open the curvy bracket and then down the bottom, I've already got my closing curvy bracket as well. I then begin putting in my HTML elements and the attributes I wish to change. So in the margin, I might make it auto. The height of it, I'll also make it auto so that it actually changes depending on what content I've got within the section. I put padding on it so everything's not touching the actual borders of the actual section. I've got the border style as solid so it stands out and has an actual border around the section. And the background color is going to be a, of a dark blue. So that's what I need to do in the CSS file in order to create the section. But the other side of this is I've got the HTML file which needs to recognize the section. So what I need to do here is within my HTML file, I need to put in some div tags and the div tags need to understand what the navigation section is and give me an area where I can actually put content into the navigation section. So what I will do is I'll put in a div ID and I'll go equals navigation and that will look for that then in my CSS file. And then after the tag, anything I enter, whether it be text or images, will be within that section up until I close the div tag. So we're going to try to show you all this now in an actual example of my website. So here is my website here. And as you can see here, I don't really have any section for my navigation. So I'm going to look at it as we did in the actual example we just looked at there. I want to put in a navigation section underneath my header. So here are my two scripting uh, pages. Over here is my HTML and on my right is my CSS. So the first thing I actually need to do is in my CSS, I need to actually create the section. So what I need to do first is create the navigation section. So hashtag navigation, open curvy brackets, and you can see down here, I've closed the curvy brackets. Now within this, I'm now going to talk about all the elements and attributes that I want to establish. So I'm going to set the margin auto as I did before. Its width is going to be 80%, so it doesn't touch both sides of the actual browser's window. The height's going to be auto, so it changes depending on how much content is in the section. I've got padding, so it doesn't touch any of the borders. The text align is going to be left, so everything is on the left side of the margin. Okay, the font family is going to be aerial. The font style is going to be bold, so it's a bit thicker. The border style is going to be solid. The border width is going to be about 2 pixels, so it's got a bit of thickness to it. The color will be white and the background color will be kind of blue. All right, so that's all the details for the actual navigation section of my page. So first thing I need to do is save that. Now, the next thing I need to do is obviously enter the appropriate code into my HTML document so that it recognizes the section in the style sheet. So I'm going to go over now to my HTML document and I'm going to enter in the div codes to put in my navigation section. So div ID equals navigation and then I've closed the div. Now I haven't entered any content yet, but I am going to save and let's refresh the page. Straight away, it recognizes that the borders okay, that we established in the actual style sheet. So we've got no content in yet, but it knows that there's a border, there's a background color uh, associated there. And then once I put in content, it'll start putting in that text formatting that we put in as well. So let's do that. Now, this is a navigation section, so I'm going to put in certain parts to it. So I'm going to put in an unordered list, and this unordered list is going to actually have all the links to my pages. Now, I'm using an unordered list for a specific reason, which is going to change how it appears, is if I didn't use a style sheet. And I'm going to put in a link to my index, which is my home page, a link to my about page. I've got a link to my contact page, a link to my gallery page, and a link to the sitemap. So they are all the actual sub pages that are going to be linked in my navigation section. You can see they've all got list items there. Okay, and that's important to know because I'll show you something in a second. But once again, I'm going to save, go back to my website, reload. And I've got navigation buttons in there now. And now they've all got formatting applied to them. Now their specific formatting is linked to the fact that I use an unordered list and a list item. So I'm actually going to diverge a bit here because this is actually going away from the section establishing. The reason they appear like that is because down the bottom of my style sheet, 
I've got codes manipulating how hyperlinks, unordered lists and list items and hovering over these items all get changed, the actual formats and fonts, okay, and colors when I actually move my cursor around. So I hope this is giving an understanding once again of the power of style sheets and essentially how we can really change the look and feel of our web pages through the development of it and specifically how we can use sections to change the layout of our web page documents all in a centralized location using a style sheet.